I know you've been waiting for this moment your entire life, okay? You've been trying to figure out how to befriend crows, and I'm gonna teach you how you can build your very own crow army. Now, before you can befriend the crows, you must find the crows. My suggestion would be a local park, parking lots. One of the best locations you can find are empty fields. Also, if you could find an abandoned graveyard, that would also be a good alternative. Now, I shouldn't have to tell you this, but you should be looking upwards because, you know, they're, they're birds. Now step two is going to involve having treats, so it's best to pack some treats ready with you. Personally, I always carry around some cat kibble in my car not only for stray cats, but for crows. If you want to give them an even healthier treat, you can give them some unsalted peanuts, because those are their absolute favorites I have found. But if you can't find peanuts for some reason, any type of unsalted nut should work just fine. Also, come on, let's not make the crows fat, okay? Let's, let's be reasonable with the amount of treats. Now, I know you're going to be tempted to give them some bread, but specifically white bread is very bad for them, so if you can stray away from that, then awesome. Another thing to consider is that crows are creatures of habit. I mean both the restaurant chain and the fact that they like a schedule. That means if you really want to speed run befriending crows, you're going to want to show up the same time every day, or at least the same day every day of the week. These creatures are extremely intelligent, so if you start building a schedule with them, they will definitely notice very quickly. As you would expect, the longer that you do spend with them, the more familiar they are going to get with you. I personally found that if you go to a park with a good book or some poetry, you can read aloud to them if there's no one else to read to, and they are absolutely great listeners. Eventually, as you build this friendship, these birds are really going to grow to appreciate you, and they're going to show this by not only inching closer to you over time and getting more comfortable around you, but if you do this well enough, they'll actually jump on you if you want to. You can have them on your knee, um, but if that sounds like something you don't want, you don't have to do that either, because of course you're the one that's training them. You're the one that's using treats to reinforce good behavior, so if they do something that you enjoy that would help the bond between you two, you can of course give them treats for that. Over time, some of these crows might even fall in love with you. They might bring you shiny gifts. They might warn you when somebody is walking by close. There's a lot of things that they can do that you cannot do from your perspective on the ground that you could train them over time to do. Please treat these crows with the same love and respect that you would like to receive. And of course, use your crow army responsibly. I'm Cyberworld, and thank you for joining my world. And until next time, peace.